everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm in a little bit of a different setup um, because I've just got sat down in my library, cozy on my beanbag to do some reading, but I thought I would get started on a vlog for the weekend. I am taking part in Whatever-thon 2, which is a month-long readathon in uh, June, hosted by Maddie from Book Browsing Blog. And this weekend um, is the 48-hour readathon. Uh, so it's kind of like an extra event in with the readathon where we're doing kind of 48 hours. Now I'm joining in in a really kind of like low key way. I'm not staying up crazy late. I'm not getting up extra early in the morning, but I am off this weekend. My other half is working. I have very little that I have to do. I've got some laundry on at the minute and I've done some tidying up already this morning. Um, I have read as well a little bit this morning already, um, but I thought I would do a little bit of a vlog over this weekend and kind of tell you what I'm reading and whatnot. So I was just sat down thinking, oh, I'll read a bit more of my book that I've got on my Kindle. Um, and I was like, hang on a minute, it's the 11th today and I have The King's Cage by um, Victoria Aveyard, which is the third book in the Red Queen series. I have a discussion for this on the 15th. It's not like the most massive book, but I've been like focusing all morning on making progress through my Kindle read. And I'm like, um, <laughs> I think I should actually pick this up. It's 507 pages. So I think I need to get my bum into gear and I think I need to get some of this read and focus on this over this weekend. Um, I don't know if this is going to fulfil any prompts on the bingo board as such because a lot of my other reads kind of fit those a lot better. Um, but maybe we'll just pause the bingos for this. However, I do also want to, with this gets a bit heavy throughout the weekend, I do also want to focus on reading and getting through Death Note Volume 3. Um, is anyone else struggling to finish their collections of the Black Editions because they've all gone like very, very difficult to get hold of and I might have to think about trying to get hold of these second hand. So I have read um, the first two volumes, which is actually technically volumes one through four because these bind ups have two volumes in them. Um, so this is volumes five and six. Um, this fulfills a prompt of a one word title. Um, it also fulfills a prompt of a different format because I can't remember the last time that I read any manga. And also one of the hosts has the first volume of Death Note on their host faves. So I'm kind of, even though this isn't the first volume, I'm taking this as a, well, Death Note is one of their faves, so this can fulfil a host faves pick. I had a bit of an existential crisis this morning, um, worrying about how I'm going to fit everything in, worrying about how I'm going to fit some of the rest of the um, prompts off on the bingo board, which with the books that I'd already kind of earmarked, and thinking I have not got enough time, I've not got enough time, we're nearly halfway through the month. That was when I had the realisation that um, I need to get this read and I need to get this read quick as well. Um, and there's me. I've just been focusing the last few days on reading Little Fires Everywhere, um, which is for a real life book club. Um, and I don't think it's really going to fulfill many prompts. Um, I'm currently on 26% of Little Fires Everywhere, chapter eight. I've probably read about um, um, probably just over... 10%, maybe a bit closer to 15% of this so far this morning. Um, I had a lazy start to my day um, and I got back into bed after getting my other half off to work, got back into bed and read some of this and I made it that I wasn't able to get out of bed until I got to at least 25% of the way through and should have been reading something else. So um, yeah, I decided that putting this in for um, three of the prompts will be um, an easier, quicker read and will probably make me feel a bit better about getting to some of the other books that I had earmarked and make those more achievable with taking the pressure off of fulfilling the bingo prompt, if that makes sense. I know it's a readathon and it's just supposed to be a bit of fun, um, but I just thought I need to take the pressure off a bit. And like I said, I then realised that I needed to read this as well. So I'm gonna sit down. I've got cozy in my bean bag. I've got a drink, which you can't see because it's where my um, tablet is, where I'm filming. Um, I've got a drink, I've got some snacks and I am going to get started on this because this needs to happen. Um, I did not realise how little time I have to read this. So I'm hoping that with the 48 hour readathon, albeit not necessarily reading a book that fulfills a bingo prompt, like read a book with a one word title, read a book, blah, blah, blah. 
I'm still fulfilling the prompt of taking part in the readathon, so it's not wasted reading for the readathon's sake. And like I've got a um I've got a book club readathon that I'm doing series read along of this, so this needs to be read. And I've only got four days to read it in. Well, I've got all day today. So I've got the 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, and then it's the discussions on the 15th. So but in the evening. So I, I have five days. 507 pages. So I need to read at least 100 pages today hopefully more and then I should be on track for 100 pages a day I should finish it but 100 pages on the day that I'm doing the live show might be a little bit more tricky so I'm gonna try and get ahead today so I might try and sit and read 50 pages of this then do a bit of this 50 pages of this then a bit of this 50 pages of this and see how much I can get of this read it is now coming up to half past 11 so most of the morning is gone but I have all day today and all day tomorrow and the only thing I have to do tomorrow is or today at some point is go out and do a little bit of food shopping nothing major nothing taxing nothing that's going to take me too long so we can do it come along for the ride I hope this is okay over a couple of days because I hope I get enough content and I hope it's interesting enough but yeah meantime been really naughty and I've gone to McDonald's and got me some nugs and some mozzarella dippers and Sprite. I just, I was just craving it and also in the freezer I did have chips but we got stuck in such a bad queue at the end of the drive through that I couldn't actually get out so I ate the chips in the drive end of the drive through um i also got a tiramisu mcflurry and i have put that in the freezer so when i come to eating a tiramisu mcflurry um it it was kind of just a little bit too melted for me i like don't get me wrong i like my ice cream slightly melty but it was a little bit too so i've just put it in the freezer to keep it like that whilst i'm eating the savory bits but i haven't had a mcdonald's in ages and I love nuggets and I don't get nuggets often enough. So I'm going to eat this. I'm going to watch some YouTube, catch up on some YouTube. And then I'm going to get back to reading. But I have made progress so far. I have read 56 pages of King's Cage. So I've got my pages done. I've got my first 50 pages done and some more. So that's good. Um, not sure how I feel on it so far. It's not quite gripped me. Um, but what I have enjoyed... Don't know if this is really spoilers but we've got a different perspective in here as well which i'm enjoying seeing a different perspective so um i might go to death note when i come back or i might try and get another 50 pages in of king's cage and, and kind of get my 100 pages for the day down of it i'm not sure we'll see how it goes but i'll report back when i'm eating tiramisu flavored mcflurry because i am so buzzing for this okay i'm at a slightly different angle so that this is a little bit more flattering excuse the way i look as well by the way um, it's just a lazy day for me, but we're going in. Oh, I'm not sure what the bits are supposed to be. I've got some bits in here. Oh, that tastes amazing. It really tastes like tiramisu, but that means it kind of just really tastes like coffee because obviously tiramisu is just really coffee and mascarpone, right? But I like it. I do like it. Mm. I'm going to sit here. Oh, should we try one of these hard bits? I don't have many hard bits, but I'm going to try one to see what it, we'll see what it's supposed to be. It's 
crunchy and chocolatey. And again, has a bit of a, oh, has a bit of a kind of like alcoholy flavour to it because that's what Tiramisu is about, right? Kind of coffee liqueur -y. Coffee liqueur E. Love. Recommend if you like tiramisu, you know, coffee and chocolate and slight liqueur tastes. Highly recommend trying this. I didn't try one of the burgers because I really fancied nuggets, but maybe we can do that in another video. I can go back and try the uh, the Italian burgers. I love Italy. Mm. I love Italian food. I have visited Italy before and want to, want to explore more of the country. Highly recommend. is because it's reminding me to move which means it's 10 to 10. Um, <laughs> I thought I'd come on quickly I'm just gonna head into town I need to return a dress that I bought um, which I decided on not wearing and I'm like no don't keep it because return it um, but I thought I'd come on before I go do that and go and do the food shop and give you a bit of a reading update so yesterday I managed to get to page 96 of King's Cage, so just shy of my 100 pages a day. However, this morning I have already got to page 122. So I've sat and read, well, nearly 30 pages this morning. Um, so I'm hoping to get another chunk of this read today. I'll be honest, I haven't read as much as I wanted to, um, but I'm hoping that once I get out and get my stuff done and get back, I'll be more motivated to sit down and read. I think yesterday, because I had so little to do, I wasn't as motivated to sit down and read, if that makes sense. I know that sounds really stupid, um, but it's because I had like, oh, I've got all day. I think then sometimes um, my kind of like desire and kind of like, um, what do you call it? My actual kind of drive to read kind of diminishes because I think I've got all the time in the world because I've got the whole day but actually in reality I haven't so I'm hoping that um, I can make some progress on this later I've just put a bookmark in from where I've started today and then where I've got to so far so that I can see my progress throughout the day see how much I get read so far I'm enjoying this um, but I kind of feel like I've got 100 pages in 122 pages in and I'm kind of still curious as to how on earth this is gonna, where this is gonna go. Um, and I feel like I'm ready for this to kind of start picking up now, um, which I'm hoping it will, something that's just happened, I'm hoping it will. Um, this series isn't amazingly gripping me and I'm hoping like that this, this kind of gets me interested and invested i hope because there's only one more book left and then there's a collection of short stories i think so i'm hoping that this kind of like do you know what i mean anyway i did also make some progress through death note volume uh well black edition three which means it's volumes five and six and i managed to get to page 101 in that and it's not you can't really see that very well so um i'm hoping that i can get this finished today because it didn't take me long to read the 101 pages that i read 
and overall it is 400 and um about 415 pages so i'm hoping that i can sit down for another couple of sessions and get this finished today that would be really good wouldn't it so yeah i'm gonna head out um i haven't got an audio book on the go at the moment but i think i'm just gonna start something which i'm not gonna finish this weekend um but i think i'm just just so i've got something to whilst i'm driving uh, listen to um and i'll come on a little bit later and i'll update you and let you know how i got on so it's a bit later on now i have got changed when i got in i what time is it it's just coming up two three o'clock i went out i did uh, my shopping bits i returned the dress i needed to return sorted out father's day bits for next weekend for my dad um and then when i came back to kind of the area where i live um i went to asda did some shopping food shopping in asda and then got caught in loads and loads of traffic on the way back um unfortunately there was a nasty accident a major major route was closed and it took me ages to get home um obviously my thoughts are with everyone involved and i hope everyone's okay um but it congested every other kind of back road um so i was out a lot longer than i thought i would be but can't be helped so I thought I would come on and do a reading update because I've managed to get back in time and get myself sorted to actually join in with the last sprint on the 48 hour uh, whatever thon readathon um, and Maddie the um, creator of the readathon um, was hosting some sprints this, this well I don't know what time she started um, maybe about sort of like 10-ish, 11-ish, um, but I was able to join in with the last sprint, so I have got a reading update. Um, I am currently on page 154, so I still have a ways to go today to hit my kind of daily pages, and to be honest, I'm not massively impressed with how many pages I read in that sprint. I read about 30 pages, um, and the sprint was an hour, but I got up because I got something through the door um, and um, and then I was like, oh, I fancy a snack. Oh, I need another drink. So I wasn't sat down reading just for the whole hour, but I'm a little bit, a little bit disappointed I didn't get a little bit more read. But I want to sit down for a little bit longer. I've still got some shopping. I got in and I just got the, the frozen and the like fridge stuff away because I'd been in the car for a lot, lot longer than I thought I was going to be. And I always like worry about stuff being out of the fridge and freezer for too long so I kind of focused on that first um, but I've still got some bits that need to go away from the shopping and need sorting out so I thought um you know join in with the last sprint and then um I'll sort those bits out and I'm going to sit back down and read some more of this um obviously I'm trying to read at least 100 pages a day so I've still got um uh, you know another sort of like 50 pages that i need to crack on with today i haven't picked up death note um again yet today um but maybe might be able to bash out 100 maybe even 200 pages of this later on we don't know don't know um but whilst i was out i stopped into a few shops and i thought i would show you what i got so i went into the works um and i saw this book and i just had to pick it up um it's a, a dk eyewitness road trips great britain plan with ease explore with confidence um this is a lovely book full of there's different i think there's 25 different trips um that basically you can go on and some of them are like just a couple of days like round but some of them give you like information that you could spend like four or five days in a place and it just literally gives you like little places to stop it gives you nice roads it gives you like routes and stuff um we do a lot of touring on two wheels on a motorbike and i thought this would be good to kind of plan our next trip um it's got a flap that comes out here which has got all the routes kind of like planned in so you can really see like what's know if you were to have a specific place you want to have a look at um you can kind of have a look at what's on offer in those areas and then the other flap actually has a, a map on it as well which comes i think that comes out i think that pulls out completely but i'm not going to pull it out yet 
So I just thought that was really, really cute. It was a little bit pricey, kind of at seven pounds. Don't really, don't normally spend this much on this sort of thing. I normally buy a lot of these sorts of things second hand, but I thought it would be priceless for sorting out and planning some future trips. Um, I'm not quite sure what we're going to do for our honeymoon yet, and how much money we're going to have to spend on our honeymoon. So actually, we might stay in the UK potentially, and might be nice to have somewhere that we can kind of spend a couple of days here and there and do like a nice trip rather than going overseas and whatnot. We really enjoy, I wonder where this is that's on the front cover. It tells you who took the picture, but anyway, so I picked that up in the works. Um, they had loads of Colleen Hoover in the works, but I've decided that I've already got three I was, and I want to do a Colleen Hoover reading vlog. So I'm not going to buy any more until I've read those three um, and then I can maybe do another one. Um, but they've got loads of, loads of kind of like all the kind of hyped books at the minute, but there was nothing that I really stood out to me or that I haven't already gotten read. Um, I then also got these, um, they're just like little notelets. Uh, these ones have bees on, one of them says thank you and the other one says with love. Um, and these, this one has two floral designs. These were two pounds and they were buy one, get one free, which I thought was an absolute bargain. Um, and I, uh, a colleague of mine's mum has knitted me a pair of mittens um, and I wanted to get, get her a thank you um, card and I thought well actually I'll buy some notelets and then I've always got something handy that I've got to hand and um, I also picked her up, she likes doing word searches so I also picked her up um, as a little thank you gift, a pound fifty word search book which I just thought would be something a little bit fun. She, he said she loves word searches. So, cause I said, oh, does she like reading? Thinking oh, I might just get her like a, a cheap book or something. It's like, no, she really likes word searches. So I got her a word search book to say thank you. So lovely, she's, mit she's knitted me the nicest pair of mittens ever. So really, really grateful. I then popped to Asda and I was a bit naughty. I was really naughty. They had this new, um, Royal Weddings, Mills and Boone. If you watched my previous book haul, you'll know that I picked up Royal Scandals, Greek Playboys, and they've got this new one on the shelf, Royal Weddings. Um, and I just thought this would be really, really fun to add to the whole Mills and Boone thing that I'm doing. This has got in it um, Revelations uh, of, secret, of a Secret Princess, Falling for the Secret Princess and Confessions of a Girl Next Door. I don't know. I just thought this would be fun to add into the mix for the Mills and Boone uh, sort of like themed reading vlog. I also um, keep seeing, I can't remember how many, how much any of this is either. I can't remember. The hardback I think was six pounds, um, but I, I can't remember how much these were, sorry. Um, I keep seeing Sally Rooney's books everywhere and I don't really know where to start with her writing if I'm honest um and with her books but I want to give her a go I know she's a bit of a Marmite author and I know some people enjoy what she writes and some people don't because I think she doesn't format her prose in a very kind of conventional way if I'm right in thinking there's no um speech marks I don't think so it's a little bit probably different to get your head round but this, I liked the sound of the back. Alice, a novelist, meets Felix, who works in a warehouse, and asks him if he'd like to travel to Rome with her. In Dublin, her best friend Eileen is getting over a breakup and slips back into flirting with Simon, a man she hasn't known since childhood. Alex, Felix, Eileen and Simon are still young, but life is catching up with them. They desire each other, they delude each other, they worry about sex and friendship and the times they live in. Will they find a way to believe in a beautiful world? I just thought this was, this sounded interesting. I don't know much about any of her books. I haven't watched any of the TV adaptations or anything like that. But I just thought it'd be something um, interesting to kind of start in Sally Rooney's work. And if I like it, I'll read more of her books. And then I picked up Meredith Alone um, by Claire Alexander. Um, all that stands between Meredith and the world is her own front door. I haven't heard about this anywhere, but I read the synopsis and I was like, okay, I'm really intrigued. I'd really like to know 
uh, more about this and read it. Is it quite funky? Oh, it's just red underneath. Um, Meredith Maggs hasn't left her house in 1,214 days, but she insists she isn't alone. She has her cat, Fred. Her friend, Sadie, visits when she can. There's her online support, online support group, Strength in Numbers. She has her jigsaws, favourite recipes, her beloved Emily Dickinson, the internet, the Tesco delivery man and her treacherous memories for company. But something's about to change. First, new friends Tom and Celeste burst into her life, followed by an estranged sister she hasn't spoken to in years. And suddenly her carefully curated home is no longer a safe place to hide. Whether, whether Meredith likes it or not, the world is coming to her door. I just thought this would be really interesting. And the, um, the tagline on the top is from Marion Keys. It says, gorgeous, I shed tears, very, very touching, sweet and hopeful. Um, and everything is just all of them, it, all of the things on the back, like quotes from other authors, just really, really sound really compelling. So I thought I'd give it a go. Like I said, this was six pounds bargain from Asda and um, I'm intrigued. I've read a couple of books recently that have been quite emotional reads um, and I'm kind of like there for it and I kind of want to continue on. Um, and then when I got home, like I said, I got distracted by the Amazon delivery driver. Do you know what? I reckon the Amazon drivers around here or the Amazon packaging place around here. Um, I think I, if I had a pound for every time that the label wasn't on straight, my label's always on. So wonky. I know what this is. Um, this is It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey. I'm a bit annoyed because the cover's a bit mucked up. Um, I've heard about this everywhere. I heard about this absolutely everywhere. And um, Tess Bailey's second book, Hook, Line and Sinker, has recently come out as well. And it's been massively hyped. Um, and I've heard this is kind of like a sort of Shit's Creek inspired rom-com. A kind of it girl, socialite girl comes to a small sort of fishing town, fishing village. Um, and yeah. Uh, she meets a kind of surly guy fisherman and it kind of all goes from there um this went down to three pounds on amazon i don't know if it still is at the time of this video going up but it's a floppy paperback um i'm just super super intrigued uh for three pounds um and this is kind of like all these hyped books are tend to be going onto the three pound list and i'm really looking forward to this i feel like i have read through all of my kind of hyped romance books now and I haven't got much else that sort of like fits the bill on that so I'm glad to have um another one on my TBR that I can pick up relatively soon I'm hoping so yeah that is what I picked up whilst I was out um I'm supposed to be on a book buying ban I'm not um I did yesterday I should have filmed it really but I did yesterday um Last weekend on the Daisy and Bee Book Club Facebook page, we hosted a kind of buy sell swap weekend, and I got myself together a stack of books um, that I was happy to part with from my TBR, which I knew I wasn't going to read. Some of them were on my TBR, some of them were books I'd read that I'm, I know I just have no desire to keep them on my shelves. And in the back of my mind, for the last few days, I'd had this kind of like you can you can purge more you could purge more there was stuff that you kept on your shelves that you didn't need to that you know you can you can donate you can add to the buy sell swap um page and stuff i ended up getting another massive stack of books which leads me on to say that um i've completely ruined the tbr challenge that i was doing with daisy may because um i've now taken those off my tbr which means that I'm a much, much, much closer to 200 than I was before. And um, I did say to her, I'm really sorry, I've completely ruined the challenge. <laughs> I was like, I can give myself a, um, like a, what do you call it? Um, like I have to get myself to a lower number. And she was like, no, it doesn't really work anymore, does it? What do you call it? A handicap. That is what I mean, a handicap. So if someone had like an unfair advantage over the other, if you were like in a sporting event, one person that maybe stands a better chance of winning would potentially get a handicap that is what i meant i meant handicap so it's kind of like thinking oh you know give me um a reduced number tip but anyway 
So we've kind of sort of inadvertently, I've ruined the um, TBR challenge. Um, I am obviously adding a couple more books back onto my TBR after going out today, but nowhere near as many as what I have taken off over this weekend. But I do have to say, it does feel good to have kind of purged some more books off my shelves, off my TBR, trying to kind of make sure that everything on my TBR is something I'm really, really excited to read. So many books I kept on from last weekend. I was like, oh, but you know, once I've read through through more, I might get to that. And I was like, no, I'm never gonna get to that. And some books I found on my shelf I've had for so, so long. If I haven't read them by now, I don't see myself ever reading them or, you know, if I do, I will just buy a used copy and spend like a couple of quid on it. If there's a desire for me to pick something up that I've now got rid of, fine. But there's like, I've got the um, Divergent trilogy. I read the first book, God knows when, bought the second two and have no desire to pick them up, won't ever pick them up and don't have any desire to keep them on my shelves. Like, so anyway. So I am going to get cracking with sorting out all this mess I've just made around me with all these books and thank you cards and packaging from Amazon. Uh, I'm going to get myself sorted. I'm going to sort out the rest of the shopping. Like I said, the rest of the bits that were like, just need to go away in the cupboards and wanted to try and get in on the final sprint. And then I'm going to sit back down and do some more reading through this like to get to at least page 200 before I have to start thinking about cooking dinner and then maybe after dinner I can read a bit more we'll see it's Sunday I kind of have the kind of have the Sunday afternoon blues uh, I felt I felt that last week um and I felt it I think I think it was heightened because I'd had four day weekend I'd had the jubilee weekend so I'd had like several days off I was kind of like, oh, back to work. I'm feeling it again a little bit today, but I think it's because I spent the whole weekend on my own. Um, I kind of feel like, oh, back to work. Whereas, actually, it won't be that bad when I get back. Anyway, I'm going to stop rabbiting on now. I'm going to go and get productive. And like I say, I'll let you know how I got on a little bit later on. I haven't done as well as I want to do through the 48-hour readathon, um, but I'm hoping that this afternoon, stroke this evening, I can crack on, get some more pages in. Uh, you know, the deadline for reading this is looming, and I need to need to pull my finger out and get on with it. Anyway, I'll update you all a little bit later on. So it is now Monday and I thought I'd come on and wrap this vlog up. The vlog didn't really go according to plan, I'll be honest. My reading didn't really go to plan this weekend. Um, and I think to a degree, I spoke about it earlier on in um, the other clips from the weekend, I think I had a bit too much time. Um, and because I had so much time, you kind of think, oh, I've got bags and bags of time to do stuff and then you don't end up being productive at all. Um, yesterday evening, uh, afternoon, e early evening, I did end up doing some gardening, which was really needed. Um, and I thought I'd try and make hay whilst the rest of the sunshine and get out there and just make some progress. Um, I did make a little bit more progress through King's Cage yesterday evening, but I couldn't keep my eyes open by the time I got to bed. Um, I got to page 188, so I didn't quite make the 200 page mark. And I have read a grand total of five pages today because on my lunch, um, normally I can park on site where I work and we're a little bit congested at the moment and I couldn't park on site um we've just got quite a lot of vehicles on site anyway so I'm parking out on a road but it's not just like quite so easy as that there's a little bit of a walk involved a few minutes walk and I was just like Do you know what I'm just gonna eat my lunch in a tea room but then people kept coming into the tea room and wanting to chat to me which was lovely don't get me wrong but I ended up putting my book down because I was like, I'm not getting anywhere. I'd read like five pages in the space of like half an hour or something. And I just put my book down and just scrolled through Instagram instead because like, I just keep getting distracted. That was fine. Um, so yeah, I read to page 188 of King's Cage. And I haven't even brought Death Note in with me to do this wrap up because I haven't got much to say about it. Any more to say because I um, haven't read any more of it. So... Probably a bit of a fail for a 48 hour readathon, reading 188 pages, 288 pages because I read 100 pages of the manga. Um, but progress nonetheless. I am not feeling 100% this evening. I've come in, I don't know if it's like a combination of probably a few things. Um, 
the heat um i haven't eaten much today because i'm trying to be good and i don't know if it's just a comp kind of compounded a few issues i'm not feeling great i'm feeling a little bit not faint um, but I'm just feeling a bit woozy and a bit lightheaded. Um, so I have got in. I have been in for a little while, actually. It's seven o'clock. Um, I've been just laying on the sofa. I had a little bit to eat, which completely, like, the whole point of not eating a lot today. But don't get me wrong. I've eaten lunch. I had breakfast. I've had lunch. Um, but I'm trying not to snack as much. I've got a wedding dress to fit into in a year's time. <laughs> um and um i'm just trying to be be mindful of what i'm eating try and cut some of those habits of just like snacking throughout the day um and um i got home and i think complete defeats the object I ended up having some chocolate a couple of rows of dairy milk or big bar of dairy milk i had a couple of rows of that and then i ended up having a packet of crisps because i just didn't know if it was that that was making me feel groggy i had a big glass of water as well didn't know if maybe i was dehydrated whether that was maybe partly it also, I had two cups of coffee today. I am a complete lightweight. Um, I normally only have one cup of coffee a day. And this afternoon, I thought, well, do you know what? I'm going to have a cup of coffee instead of eating a snack. Or, like, and by snack, I always snack on rubbish things. I don't have healthy snacks uh, just because of the sort of per person I am. So I thought, oh, I'll have a cup of coffee instead because that will be warm and that will fill me up um maybe a bit and i don't know even if it was that that's kind of made me feel funny as well or maybe contributed to the bigger picture anyway i'm rambling i am rambling sorry it didn't go quite according to plan i was expecting to like read a book or two and like achieve loads and loads and loads and it didn't quite go that way but you know what that's not the end of the world um i am worried a little bit about reading more of this this afternoon this evening it's seven o'clock so if you have you say this afternoon um this evening because I, my head's just not in the right place like i said I'm, I'm not feeling as woozy anymore um but i'm just a little bit kind of like i don't think i'm going to be able to put set my mind to it so um, i'm a little bit worried because i've not got an awful lot of time left and i've got to have finished it and i've still got like more than half of the book to read so kind of tempted to just suck it up download the audiobook actually tomorrow is my credit day so i could waste a credit it's not wasting but i could use a credit maybe so that i can read it like at all the points that i can't normally read on my drive into work on my drive home from work while I'm washing up, when I'm sorting, you know, just odds and sods around the house. So maybe I might actually do that. And then it's done, isn't it? I might do that tomorrow. It's credit day tomorrow on Audi Audible. Anyway, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. So it wasn't quite what I expected. And I did think that I would read more and have more stuff to kind of talk about. Um, but um, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you on the next one.